How's it going guys? Welcome to the FM Dugout. We're back with Sterling Albion in the British Steel Challenge and thanks to a special request, um, we're back a little bit earlier than anticipated. So only one game has passed since the 4-0 win over Livingston in the last episode as we take on air in the Scottish Cup today. Uh, Scottish Cup fifth round. Um, where The reason why I've decided to do this, there was a request for it, um, but if we do get through, we have a trip to play Celtic away. So that could be quite interesting um, if it comes to light. Um, but obviously, first of all, we have to be Air. Air are sitting in the Championship. Um, they are ninth, however. So they're towards the bottom end. And um, we find ourselves in a position where, I guess, we're in good form in our league. And potentially we could get an upset here. Who knows? Um, Liam Coogan's today is injured. Um, I think it was the gashed head, yeah. So, not managed to get to match fitness for today's match. Um, I am tempted to maybe risk it because in the last game, Aaron Duke did not have a good game at all. Uh, we drew one all away to Forfer. Um, if memory serves me correct, we were in control of the game and... Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, we were definitely in control of the game. 30 shots at goal, 12 on target, um, and somehow we only managed to score once. Uh, not the the greatest of games. Um, we actually went 1-0 down as well, uh, which I forgot that part. Um, anyway, it's about the Scottish Cup at the moment. Um, if we do get the tie against Celtic, I'll do that. If we don't, then it'll be one of these last three or four games somewhere in, in there um, where the next live call will be at the end of the season. Um, and then I'll see how things go from there. I mean, in terms of uh, jobs that are available at the moment, um, if we take a look at what we have... <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm going to go from Sterling Albion to Stoke. Um our reputation is still not going to be high enough at the moment to kind of look at anything like that, but um, no point in jobs like St Johnstone or Hamilton um, if they did become available. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see how things pan out like that. It's not something that you can really plan ahead for. It's only when jobs become available and you feel you've done enough at the club you're at that you might look to move on. So anyway... Um, let's let's get into our team lineup. So you can see Celtic beat Livingston four one. Um, we beat them four <laughs> 0 Does that mean we can beat Celtic one 0 No, it doesn't. That's just stupid logic. Um, but anyway, we are playing air, so um, we haven't played them uh, at all in this save. Um, so it should be interesting to see how that goes. Their last match was one 0 loss against Dunfermline. Um, Let's see, right, lineups. Um, so this, I think, barring Duke, was the same lineup as against Livingston, um, and it did very well against Forfort in terms of the number of chances created, just didn't take them. As I say, Aaron Duke, for me, I'm not convinced. Coogan's is at 76%. Um, I, I generally don't play injured players. Um, and I just don't know if I want to take the gamble because, to be honest, the, the biggest thing for me here is to win the league. Um, that's the thing that takes the greatest amount of time. Um, it's the thing that we're most likely to do. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with, with the lineup you see here. Uh, Jeffries and McMahon are still not quite at full fitness. Um but we'll go with that and we'll see how we get on against air. Um, the fact we put Falkirk out in the last round probably means nothing. Um, you know, each game is, is different, so we'll see again how we fare against championship opposition. Um, yeah, the weather's bad today, apparently. Uh, right. I want to do a little bit. See, anyone who's watching this series in the Rescue Rangers one will see that 
I'm actually starting to merge the tactics. The two of them are, are becoming quite similar um, in terms of uh, opposition instructions, in terms of the shape. Um, it just seems to have worked here and it's now working for, for Rangers and the other save. So um, it's, it's worthwhile to to probably try to use that. That now becomes my, my favorite formation. Um, anyway, what can we say? There's nothing about being underdogs, which is a bit surprising. Um, well, that doesn't go down too well. And just the usual assertiveness, telling everybody that I have faith that they can dump out air. And let's just check, get rid of the latest scores because we don't care, because we're the only team playing actually at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll speed up the highlights when I turned that down for the last episode of Rescue Rangers. As here, get an early chance here. Are we going to clear our lines? Jeffries wins it back and plays it out for a throw-in. If early signs are to be looked at, uh, air look as though they might be quite a danger coming forward. Going with a standard 4-4-2, so I don't think we need to really do anything in particular uh, to counter them. As Anderson picks up the ball, nice little back heel from him and Lindsay and Jeffrey shot on target. Uh, all a little bit too easy for the keeper as he pans it away for a corner. Uh, Eastern will flip in there, looking for Gordon, but Brennan comes out. That uh, chance is gone. Pretty even so far. The possession is even. Uh, chances and target maybe slightly in our favour. Um, let's see if we can give the boys a little bit of assertive encouragement. I don't know how anyone could really be complacent in a Scottish Cup tie at this stage against a team who are in a division above you. Um, unless you were a couple of goals ahead. Um, at nil now it seems like a weird thing as Kustring gets into the box. Great challenge there. Now we look to launch the counter-attack, bursting forward Jeffries. Duke is in the middle. Jeffries skips over one challenge, misses where he wants to go. And now it's air, Kustrain into the box. He looks up, whips it in, back post, saved by Craddock somehow. Um, luckily the player has hit that directly at Craddock because that was a glaring chance to score there. And I think we're lucky to go in actually at half time at, at nil nil. We probably should have been one nil down there. A couple of poor performers here today so far. McManus and Duke not up to it. Um, I want to try and be positive for the rest of the team, but certainly those two, um, I I'm not happy with it. McManus has the right attitude. Duke doesn't. If I am here next year, I don't think Aaron Duke is going to be. Um, around for much longer um, I found his attitude has been pretty poor, there was another game where he was playing like 6.1 and he was kind of demotivated or I can't remember exactly what it was when I told him he wasn't playing well um, yeah I don't know, maybe he just hasn't had enough of the ball in the first half or if he has, he's, he's missed his chances um, on the greatest ball from Lindsay there for him uh, as Gordon will chase it down and let's go out for a throw I would have preferred it if he'd kept that in actually um, throw-ins usually end up giving away possession as Jeffries comes forward he lays it off to Duke Duke to Anderson off the post the keeper I think got a touch on that didn't they pushed it onto the post seen this all too often in recent episodes and uh, in both series really uh, <coughs> Alan Duke now has a stub toe um, where people are hitting the post quite frequently and there's been a recent update so I don't know if there's been something that's happened there in terms of the likelihood of hitting the post uh, <laughs> but it's happening a lot uh, unfortunately Blair Henderson is the only option we are pretty short up front, so we'll go with Blair Henderson and um, let's see a good performance. Okay, he didn't like that. He felt we were the underdogs, and obviously he feels pressured by that. Um, 
surely you could still have a decent game, even if you're up against a team that are doing better than you. I see Air have now switched to the 4-2-3-1 wide. Um, fortunately, I'd, I'd told before the game, Hegarty and... Damn. <laughs> Devlin crossing to McGuffey, and he slots it home from a few yards out. And despite, again, being in control of the game, we're now a goal down. Crawford out wide, Devlin early cross in, good ball, it must be said. Uh, positioning perhaps a little bit suspect of Gordon there. Um, now Conor McManus has picked up an injury as well. Um, we'll go with Sean Dixon here. Ball winning midfielder. Uh, really short on options here uh, in terms of what we can do. Uh, Carlo Monte can come on, I guess, for Josh Jeffries. Um, maybe we'll get a free kick and he can do what he did against Falkirk in the last round of the cup. Um, but it certainly doesn't look too good. As I say, stat-wise, you know, it looks, it looks fine, but it's, it's all down to uh, what you can actually get into the back of the net. And we just haven't done it today. Um, as I was saying before, I have Hegarty and Petrie sitting back a bit more because of their wide men, but I'm actually thinking now, given the fact that we're chasing the game and we need a goal, uh, we need these guys to get further forward. Um, what else do we have? What's Lindsay set to? It's just a central midfielder. Let's let him go and attack. Uh, Carlo Monti's not particularly great there. Shadow striker, maybe. Um, possibly not. Okay, I think we'll just go with it. There's not an awful lot I think will uh, counter this without having to drastically change the formation, and we just don't have the players for it. Um, Let's do that quickly and then pump the ball into the box direct. Get stuck in tackling maybe as well. I don't know. It's this is frustrating. Uh to be in control of the game and uh to, to not get anything from it is is really quite galling and hitting the post certainly yeah. It's, it's just one of those games, isn't it, guys? We've all had them. Um, but it looks as though that will be it for the Scottish Cup this year. And Ayr can enjoy their trip to Celtic Park. And, yeah, that'll be it, I think. Unless Devlin's going to shoot that into his own net. <laughs> I think that will be us. Which is... As I say, it's disappointing, but to be honest, getting to the fifth round was more than I thought we would do here anyway. Um, and certainly, I didn't think we were going to win the Scottish Cup. Um, yeah, not going to get a chance here, guys. Sorry, let you down. You don't have a, a live com of us going to Celtic Park and let down the, the financial folk at the club as well. Um, that would have been a fairly hefty payday, I think, as well, going to uh, Celtic Park. Um, they were unlucky today. I mean, they didn't play particularly well if you look at it overall, but the number of chances we've had, um, clearly we've, you know, we have played fairly well. Um, yeah, room missed chances, certainly do. Uh, McManus is going to be out for a couple of weeks. Aaron Duke is going to be out for 8 to 10 days. Ouch. Uh, hopefully Coogan's will be back because that could dent our chances a bit. Um, God, shut up, will you? Don't care. Right, 10k. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Right, anyway, guys, so I'm not going to be back for any more Scottish Cup action because there won't be any. Um looking at the fixtures as i said before it's going to be around that point there we're what whoa, 10 points clear now um after losing points against four for so 10 points is going to be what four games yeah it's going to be about that mark anyway guys uh sorry i couldn't deliver um a nice scottish cup run for us uh 
we'll see if, if we're here next year if we can go a couple of stages better than that um, but uh, anyway if you have liked the episode please leave a like and a comment it really helps me out until the next time guys I'll see you when I see you